What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, The Lovable Asshole here, coming to you with another video, guys. And yes, we are here to review the one and only, the vocal Bible herself, guys, Miss Brandy Norwood. Baby, this is Brandy's seventh album. It's titled B7. Um, Brandy... Brandy is literally like my... My everything. I grew up on Brandy, so I love Brandy. Anybody who comes for Brandy is gonna come. I'm gonna come for you, okay? She is not only she's known for her talent, her musicality. She's known for being like an inspiration to all the R&B girls. You cannot be. You cannot be in. R&B and not know who Brandy is. That's just a disrespect. So, without further ado, without further ado, we're gonna pull up this Brandy album B7, and we're gonna start this freaking video. The first song we're gonna listen to, guys, is Saving All My Love. Let's get it. Ooh. That little boom. Yes, Brandy. Dutch Nora really sounds good. When I tell you her soft her soft vocals is one of the most amazing things about Brandy. Her lower, her lower tone, lower Everything. Now, um, just by listening to the lyrics, um, I want to have a question for Brandy. If you're watching this, Brandy, or the the people who um, my commenters, um. It's saving all my love is for the fans of Brandy's who, who've been waiting for this project, and she's saying, she's sh like I've been broke. She's been broken hearted for the last couple of years. That's why she was been. Sh that's why she's been silent. And now she's solid as a rock, and she's here to come back and sh and show you what she got. You know, cause she's been saving all her love for this project. And to give it to her beautiful stars out there. I think this is this is like a love, this is like a love letter to her fans. Um correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments, guys. Comment below. So guys, that was saving all my love. Um it's a it's definitely <laughs> It's definitely I love it. I I love the song. I love the song. Um in my opinion, I think it's a it's a uh it's a love letter to our fans. Now the next song is Unconditional Oceans. Hmm? Lovely title. Let's go. First of all, whoever did this beat in the production two snaps two snaps let me just say this brandy's voice Uh, every time I hear her voice, I feel like I want to cry. And this song is called Unconditional Oceans. And on this, on this particular song, her voice is flowing like oceans. You know, it's, it's literally calming. It's calming like an ocean. It's not a tidal wave just yet. It's crashing into us. 
Because I know she has that in her. But right now at this point, it's just like her voice is literally so calm and it's so like oceans. Like, I wish I had some type of edibles right now where I could take and just like sit back and just hide. But you don't really need to get high to listen to Brandy because her voice is the edible. Her voice is inedible. See that? I just like, she bugging back down. Yes, Brandy. So, guys, that is Unconditional Oceans. Okay. Unconditional Oceans, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Brandy, you did your thing. Your voice was flowing like oceans. The, anybody who was on the production or who did the beat, you did you. You did your thing. I'm going to give you your tens with that. Hey, guys, the next song is Rather Be. Let's get it, guys. Brandy, with this calmness, with this calming voice, baby. And just by the way, guys, I just woke up and washed my face and everything, and I'm still looking a little drowsy, but I'm gonna I'm in the right space for Miss Brandy. Give me a minute, guys. There we go. <laughs> Back. Okay. Right. That is rather be, guys. That's rather be. Um, another calming song. It didn't top. It did not top. Um, unconditional oceans for me, but that's okay though. Now, next song, guys, is Lucid Dreams. Mm. Okay. Okay, with the little dribbles in the back. Little um, waterfalls, a little um, faucet in the back or something. The songwriting, the lyrics, let's continue. Brandy! Ooh, I love that. It's like an alien shit. It's like an alien shit right there. Guys, Lucid Dreams. It's kind of up there with um, Unconditional Oceans. The lyrics, the songwriting, and the fact that the production, the production, whoever um, had the war, the trickles of water in the background in her vocals. That was amazing. Her background vocals are amazing. And towards the end, you see, you have this uh, alien type of uh, noise synced in there. And it's like really screwing with your brain. Sounds that make you just like, just wants to like, like it has control over you. The sound that she, the sound that she chose for this particular uh, song on Lucid Dreams. You did that, Brandy. You did that. The next song on the album is Borderline. Let's get it, guys. This production, like. Dun, 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 
again, Brandy, the production, and your freaking vocals. Stop. Please stop, Brandy. Please, please stop, baby. Stop. I don't have no energy for this. Let's get back to it, guys. Ooh. Falling in love all alone. Baby. No water. I don't have nothing. Brand days. You are taking me on a journey and a trip, and you know, is what is that freaking rod at the uh, amusement park that goes that swings like this, that swings like this. Like, you... And then, you giving me this, and then you also taking me on a roller coaster like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Brandy, baby, I have asthma. I can't take it. I really can't. I really can't take all those vocals, baby, those precious, precious, beautiful vocals. Hold on a minute. Guys, this song, Brandy, you are about to take me out. Like, this song is literally five minutes. And I still have to catch my breath. And you keep... Oh, my God. Brandy. 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 I know you want to give us all this music, but, baby, can you slow down? Please slow down. But I'm still here for it. I'm still here for it. Borderline is sickening. Woo! You are not gonna slow it down at this point, Brandy. Really? At this, at one minute? In fact, it's like you gonna slow it down right now. Oh, okay. Guys, that is borderline. Baby. Borderline just may have topped unconditional oceans for me. Borderline have definitely pushed unconditional dreams out the number one spot for me. Next song is No Tomorrow. I like that. Ah, but this is a track. I'm tired of you, Brandy. I'm tired. That's no tomorrow, guys. I love how Brandy is literally playing with her, doing acrobatics with her vocals. And that's signature Brandy. Like, I live for it. Like, I could, I could see the flips. The down slides and then the go ups and like uh, I'm I'm tired of her. I'm tired of her. <sighs> I love her. Next song is Say Something, guys. Say something. Ooh, the piano in the background. It it almost a little bit of full moon. Like that intro coming in that um, that instrumental. You know, ugh. it's like, say, say, everybody could relate to this song. Like, when a person lies to you, and it's like, 
Say something that I'm going to believe to make me trust you again. Like, say something. Mm. Okay. Guys, that was say something. Say something. It took me on a journey of a lion piece of trash. I don't want to go back. We're gonna move on. And we're gonna go into I Am More. Yes! Yes for the, the uh, electric guitar. Yes, yes. Baby, ain't that the... Listen to that again, guys. He's like, I need more. I need more because I am more. I need more than what you have for her. Wait, wait, wait let's... Let's go back to that line. Yes. That is I Am More, guys. Vocals, production. I Am More. I love I Am More. I love it. Oh! This next song is High Heels, and this is with Brandy and Sarah, her daughter. Okay, you got your daughter on there? Writing credits for the daughter. Residual's daughter. Let's see. And by the way, guys, Sarah is an amazing, ta like, she can sing. Like when I tell you, like, her offspring got her entire voice and is amazing. Mm. Oh, is that Sarah in the beginning? Sarah started off? Sarah, Sarah. Yes, ma'am. I will say about this song with the both of them, mother and daughter. I can tell that Brittany has a lighter touch to her voice. You can tell the difference between their voices. Sarah has um, a, a husky or darker tone. She sounds just like her mother, but with a darker tone to her, in my opinion. They um, both are amazing. My baby is gonna... Baby, I am filming a video. Let's get back to the song, guys. Okay, B Rocker. All right. If anybody who don't know who B Rocker is, you're not a Brandy fan. You're not a B. You're not a Brandy fan. You're not a Brandy fan. That is High Heels with Brandy and Brandy's daughter Sarah. Um, they compliment to each other. I love the implement of Biraka towards the end. Like she said, her and her daughter would never sink in the sand. That deserves this. Yes, ma'am. This next song is Baby Mama, featuring Chance the Rapper. Let's get it. Baby Mama. When it's a baby mama. This song, guys, I heard this song called Baby Mama. And people were not feeling it as the uh, first single. Already out the gate. <laughs> if Brandy would have gave us Borderline, baby. You would have got us hook, line, and sinker with Borderline. But I think you wanted to, you wanted to uh, prep... You wanted to prep us, Brandy, so you didn't want to give us, like, full fire out the gate. You wanted to prep us a little bit. I got you. I got you. 
Okay, let's go to the next song, guys. Love Again featuring Daniel Caesar. Was this or be was this recorded before or after we knew Daniel Caesar's true feelings about black people? Dang you, Caesar. You are so lucky that I know how to separate the music from the stupidity of an artist. Now, will I be buying your album? What you think? Anyway... Um, you have a great voice, young man. Beautiful song by Brandy and you know the rest. Um, Mr. Caesar. Beautiful song. Beautiful, beautiful song. Brandy. I love you, Brandy. Now, Let's go to the next song, which is Bipolar. Oh, wow. I did not know that Brandy was bipolar. I didn't know. Wow. That's some truth. Wild. Now, um, anybody who has dealt with, um, like mental illness or some type of, um, depression stage or anything like the lyrics, like, you fuck with my head, like it was Russian roulette. And, um, you strung me along. And the fact that she was going through all this, and I, I didn't know. And um, the, the, the lyrics and how she was feeling. And I'm, I don't know if you're better, Brandy. I don't know if, um, I know this music is therapeutic. I know, music is very, very therapeutic. When you're going through a hard, a hard transition in life, and um, and you kind of slip up, and you and you find yourself in your thoughts, and you find yourself in like a dark, a dark room, in in, in your head, and you like you just want to find a light switch, like please can we can I find a light in here? I don't want to be in this sunken freaking room and with the dark I need some light and um I don't know if you're in a great place Brandy I know like like I said th I think this music is therapeutic and just this song alone and um I'm getting teary eyed because I don't have any mental illness I have suffered through um I don't know if it's like uh, depression is a mental illness, but um, I've been in an, in a depression. I've been in a dark space, and a and I felt like there was a dark cloud around me at at several points in my life, and um, let's keep um, listening to this masterpiece and beautiful, beautiful song.
Ох. That was beautiful, Brandy. That was beautiful. Um, another favorite. Um, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. So, guys, that is the end of... That is the end of... Uh, that is the end of the review. Uh, I will give this album... Uh, it's 15 songs. I would give this album The Return of Brandy. I would give Brandy a solid 8. A solid 8. A solid 8. She did her thing. She took me through journeys. She uh, brought up something that had me reflect. And, um... So, guys, B7 is a solid 8 project. Um, my favorites, my favorite is, my favorites are Unconditional Oceans, Bi Bipolar, Lucid Dreams, and Borderline. Those four. Those four are my, my favorites from the album, from the project. Uh, Brandy, you did your thing. Those are my favorites in this project. Um, so guys, 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 tell me what your favorites from this beautiful, beautiful project. Um, tell me what are your favorites from um, the B7 album. Um, did you love the album? Um, do you have any critiques for the album? Uh, please like, like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video. And please, please, don't forget to click that notification bell for the next video is coming to you. So you can see this beautiful face of mine, okay? Tune into the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>